This is financial advisor Patrick Monroe talking about how to open a safe deposit box. Having a safe deposit box is an important uh, feature in anyone's financial life. There are documents in your life that just need to be in a bank locked up under lock and key. When you go to your bank, make sure that you have a good relationship with them already set up. That is to say with um, checking accounts and maybe some other uh, features so that they do know you. There is a fee, and it's usually paid for in an annual installment to the bank, and they'll walk you back into the safe after they sign your uh, uh, signature card and, and set up an appropriate way to identify you every time you come into the safe deposit box. And uh, when you go in there, you'll pick the size of box that um, is appropriate to your needs. And there's a fee for each uh, size of box. The larger the box, the larger the fee. Once you do report to the bank to use your safe deposit box, there are usually two keys involved. You have one and the bank officer has another one that's kept in a special uh, pouch at the bank. Once you go into the safe deposit box, you put in your key first, they put in their key second, and only on the combination of um, those keys being turned at the same time does the box open. That bank officer will leave you in a private room and you can open up your safe deposit box and examine the contents. When you're ready to put them back in, the bank officer will return. This is Patrick Monroe talking about safe deposit boxes.